Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been a while, but I have been getting over the flu. I've had it, I think, three times in four weeks now. But I wanted to do a quick little um, two-minute two tool Tuesday for you, featuring this drill, which I've shown you before, uh, that I found. Actually, I got mine on AliExpress for, uh, I think it was $14. Uh, but you can get them on Amazon for $23 and a lot faster shipping. So, as I was chopping the roof off of my... Um, what's going to be a Buick Skylark, but uh, actually a um, uh, Oldsmobile, or a, uh, excuse me, a Buick uh, GSX. Uh, I thought I would show you just how efficient this thing is for what uh, I do. Um, I have big Dremels. Uh, I've got a couple over there. But the lowest RPM on those things is 5,000 RPM. Now, if you can find a really old... Uh, Dremel back in the day you used to have a dial that would go from zero RPM all the way up to I think 25,000 So if you can find one of those on eBay, those things would be great for low RPM work, but I found this to be a pretty useful to tool um, It's got three speeds and uh, It's rechargeable with a USB. So let's start the timer and get into it So like I say you've got three speeds and I'll put a link below. You, it comes with uh, several um, pieces, including grinders, buffing wheels, uh, belt sand, or uh, excuse me, disc sanders, polishing wheels. Um, but the most useful tool I have is this little saw because it goes right through this stuff. Now, don't expect a major power surge here. But if you take your time, let's see, yeah, it's on high speed. It will slowly go through the plastic without melting it. Just fine. Yes, it's a little bit slower, but it also doesn't have as much of a chance of ripping out of your hands and causing some damage. So you just keep working it in there. And it works just fine. I'm about to finish this roof, so let me just get in here. This may go a little longer than two minutes, but... Battery life is not great, but like I say, for the uses I'm using it for, I find it really handy because, like I say, it doesn't get away from you as easily as a full-size Dremel does, and it doesn't burn the plastic. Yes, it does take some time. Go through a couple times. Go around this edge here. I think we're going to shoot past two minutes, but oh well. But again, this is a tool that I uh, always have in my arsenal. Matter of fact, I bought a second one just because of how much I loved using it. Like I said, being delicate is your friend on these things. You don't want to just rip apart it. I could grab a big drill and knock that out in no time. But see there? <coughs> Excuse me. But now I'll finish that out with sandpaper and make it smooth and d define the edges to where I want them. But boy, I tell you what, it just makes, m makes it so much easier and cleaner. So that's Two Minute Tool Tuesday. We'll catch you next time.